start, remove the panels under the steering pillar to enable the central boarding to be removed. Then remove the air conditioning unit from the dashboard, ensuring to disconnect the electrical switches. Begin to undo the screws before removing the main head unit, again ensuring all harnesses are disconnected before removing. Now we can start to deassemble the main head unit. Remove the screws and leave the air vents out as well as the hazard switch. Now we can start to assemble your new Connects 2 fascia panel starting by refitting the hazard switch and air vents into the similar apertures. Connect the brackets on both sides, ensuring each bracket is on the correct side. Now slot in the aftermarket unit and attach the brackets to it. If you have difficulty lining up the brackets, flip the unit around to help for a better fit. Now connect all steel wheel control harnesses and the relevant patch lead to your aftermarket head unit. In this instance, we have used a Pioneer unit which requires a CT Pioneer lead. When returning to the car, connect all the Connects 2 harnesses to the pre-existing connections in the car. Once everything is connected, reassemble the faceplate and test if necessary. Once everything has been reassembled, turn the ignition on and the main head unit display should showcase the startup screen. Now the steel wheel controls have been fitted, you should easily be able to navigate through the different functions of the unit. These include being able to change the volume levels, change from radio to CD, as well as scanning the radio and changing tracks. We hope you are satisfied with your product from Connects2. However, if there are any defects or difficulties, please contact our technical support on the number shown.